let's make a midge gasifier stove. What you're going to need is three cans. A Bush's baked bean can, any kind of soup can, tomato can, mixed vegetable can, 14 ounce size, and uh, it could be a tuna can or uh, a chicken can, usually like a 12 ounce can. A little bit taller than your average can of tuna. These are real common, but it's, it's nice to have this. And by the way, this Bush's can is a 55 ounce can. Now the only tools you're going to need is a pencil, a retractable blade knife like this, and possibly a can opener, bottle opener, and four screws. Now to make this easier, I'm going to use my Ryobi Impact with a step drill bit. And this is one from Harbor Freight. You can get a set of three of these for about $14 sometimes. If you go into Home Depot or other places, you can find larger step drill bits uh, made by different companies like Irwin or uh, Greenlee or things like that. And they're a lot more expensive, but once you buy one of these, you'll have it forever. These are designed to drill specific size holes all the way down these individual steps. So you can just count how many steps you go down into something and that corresponds to a specific size hole you know, as you're drilling. Makes it really easy. It's kind of like a universal drill bit for uh, MacGyver type people, you know. So, all right, here we go. First, you want to take the labels off all the cans. First step is remove the tops of all three cans. Leave all the bottoms intact. Now on the large can, what you want to do is, right in this bottom band, you want to put five or six holes all the way around, about the size of your thumb. So take a pencil or a marker, And go ahead and draw a circle on this. Remember, about the size of your thumb. Another neat thing to have to mark your holes is a spring punch like this. The spring punch, you hold up against the object that you want to mark, pull the spring back, and let go. And what it'll do is that will go ahead and hit the metal, leaving a little dent marking your hole to drill. So set the punch on the can, pull back, and now we've got our mark in the can and our drill bit will go right through really easily. You could also use a nail and a hammer if you don't have a spring-loaded punch like this. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the holes in the can. And just make sure they're, they're evenly spaced around the bottom of the can. Okay, now we've got our five air holes around the bottom of the can. These are a little bit smaller than a thumb, which is okay, it'll still work. They have to just be roughly that size, you know, definitely finger size. Next, take the large can, take your soup can. The soup can is going to be mounted inside like this, even with the top. So, set the cans like this. put a mark on the outside. Right about there. Because we're going to put screws through 
at this level in the larger can to hold the soup can down inside. These screws are going to go in at four quadrants, four evenly spaced screws. Go ahead and use your punch. Now go ahead and drill your screw holes. All you want to do is make a little poke through the can so that the screw goes in easier. Okay, once you're done putting your screws in, you should have a setup like that inside. Just four screws in a cross pattern. Check to see if your can sits down inside. Perfect. Next, take your soup can, and what you're going to do is, you're going to perforate the bottom of this. You're just going to put a whole bunch of holes in here, and right down here on the smooth band at the bottom of the can, you're going to put about 10 holes around the outside, the diameter of the pencil. Okay, so just go ahead and put them evenly around the bottom of the can, about an inch apart, roughly, all the way around. If you dent it like this, that's okay. Okay, when you're all done, You'll have evenly spaced holes about the size of a pencil. Next, perforate the bottom of the can all over. You can start in the center and make a spiral pattern if you want, you know, get fancy, whatever you want to do. Okay, after you're done battling with it, you'll have a bunch of holes in the bottom of the can. Uh, it's alright if they're irregular all over the place, doesn't matter. As long as you have a bunch of holes here, and about 10 holes around the base of the soup can. Oh yeah, and don't get so ahead of yourself that you forget to put holes in the top of the soup can as well. So it needs 16 holes in the top, 10 in the side at the bottom, and as many perforations as you can put in there. So now, there's our larger can and our smaller can assembly. We're almost done. Take this tuna fish or chicken can and we're going to make a gas cowling out of this. This is going to fit down inside and rest on top of the soup can. 
So we're going to cut a hole in here. Now this little hole part is critical. So what you want to do is take your soup can, put it on top of this can, so it lines up. and mark a circle. Now on this particular can, the pencil really doesn't want to work. You know, it's giving me a hard time. But you can see from the groove where this can fits. Now what you want to do is, you don't want to cut on that line. You want, you want to cut a little inside of the line. So, maybe on a can like this, cut this inner circle out first. You don't want the hole you cut in here to be too large so that this can falls down over the top of this. You want this can to fit perfectly on top of the soup can. One technique for cutting the hole in this can is to take your utility knife, put it out one or two clicks so that you only get a little bit of blade. Set it on your can and push. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this knife to make small, small cuts down through this can. There's other ways you could do it too. You could use tin snips, you could use a small saw, whatever you want to do. You could also put the blade out a little further, make a larger cut, then use a thin hacksaw blade. Slide the hacksaw blade in through your knife cut and work your way around. That's about what you should have. Take your soup can, take your tuna or chicken can, set it over the top. Make sure they fit nice, like this. If you want, you can enlarge the hole a little bit. You can do that by taking your utility knife and striking around the edge of the hole. Now assemble all three. Baked bean can, soup can inside, and centered. Then your outer can or gas cowling. When you're operating the stove, you want to keep this centered. There's a little gap around the outside. That causes a little bit of air to be pulled in around that edge. So you don't want the can to get all sloppy in there. Should be assembled just like that, leaving a small gap at all times. Another thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, to make these holes on the bottom, if you don't have a drill, use a regular old-fashioned can or bottle opener, attach it to the bottom of the can, and make large holes that way.